hello everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel if you're here for the first time hi my name is busari moliayo and i am a nigerian registered nurse and midwife i am also a united kingdom registered nurse on this channel i film content related to nursing and healthcare so if you're interested in content like that do click on subscribe button to join the youtube family and also on the bell icon so you get a notification whenever i drop another video in today's video we're going to be exploring the virginia anderson's needs theory now this is one of the fundamental nursing theories that you will have to learn and understand as a nursing student so first let's get familiar with who virginia anderson is virginia anderson was an american nurse she was born on november 1897 and she was very influential during her lifetime she was a researcher and an educator and because of her various contributions to nursing she is referred to as the first lady of nursing one of her popular contributions is the Virginia Henderson definition of nursing as well as a neat theory which we'll be talking about in today's video now that we know who Virginia Anderson is let's talk about an overview of what this theory is about the Virginia Henderson's needs theory, just as the name implies, is actually aimed at addressing the fundamental needs of patients. And with her theory, she was able to identify 14 basic needs that she believes were essential for human health, well-being, as well as recovery when talking about patients. The aim of Virginia Henderson's theory is to actually tackle the challenges of patient care. So the theory emphasizes on the roles of nurses in assisting patients with activities that will contribute to their health or recovery. That way patient care is going to be very easy and straightforward because nurses will know okay this and this is what they need to do to help a patient get better. Now let's discuss the key concepts of the Virginia Henderson's needs theory. Virginia Henderson's theory has three major key concepts which uh, individuality of the patient, the nurse's role, and health as independence. For individuality, she believes that each patient has to be treated differently. That is, the needs of patient A is not the same as the need of patient B. Then, for nurse's role, she believes that the nurse's role is complementary to that of the physician, which focuses on caring rather than curing. Then, as for health as independence, her view is that a patient is healthy when they can perform their 14 basic needs without assistance. So let's go over to the 14 basic needs that Virginia Henderson identifies for patients. The needs are breathing normally, eating and drinking adequately, eliminating body waste, moving and maintaining desirable postures, sleeping and resting well selecting suitable clothes which means dressing and undressing maintaining body temperature within normal ranges keeping the body clean and well groomed avoiding dangers in the environment and dangers to others communicating with other people around them worshiping according to their faith working in such a way that there is a sense of accomplishment playing or participating in recreational activities learning, discovery, or satisfying curiosity. Now that we understand what Virginia Anderson's theory is all about, let's talk about how it is applied to nursing practice. But before we do that, if you're a nursing student and you're preparing for exams, you can get practice questions, you can get audio tutorials, more than what you're getting on this channel on www.nursingwithlights.com. You can also get study guides for your nursing council examinations so i'll leave the link to the website in the description box below now let's go over to the application of virginia anderson's needs theory to nursing practice so here's the scenario we'll be working with today mrs babalola is an 82 year old woman who recently underwent hip replacement surgery following a fall at home she lives alone she has an history of hypertension and has mild cognitive impairment she is now in the hospital recovering from the surgery. So now we want to apply Virginia Anderson's needs theory to care for Mrs. Babalola. Our first need is to breathe normally. So as a nurse, you have to encourage deep breathing exercises and use of an incentive parameter to prevent post-operative pneumonia. You can also administer pain medication if there are discomforts that are hindering our ability to breathe deeply. 
Regarding eating and drinking adequately, you have to provide soft, nutrient-rich diet to accommodate her dental issues. Because obviously, she's an old woman and may have or is expected to have dental issues. Then you assist her with feeding if it is necessary. You monitor her fluid intake to ensure she remains hydrated. Regarding eliminating body waste, you encourage that she has a high-fiber diet, adequate fluid intake to ensure that um, she doesn't have constipation. You can also administer stool softeners if they are prescribed. Then you also assist her with toileting. Moving and maintaining a desired position. So you provide assistance with repositioning every two to four hours to prevent pressure ulcers. Then you also encourage early ambulation with the aid of either a worker, Zima frames, and you collaborate with the physiotherapy or the physical therapy team to help with support and regaining mobility. Sleeping and resting, you administer pain relief before bedtime if she is prescribed any. Then you create a comfortable and quiet environment for her to sleep. You can also think of establishing a nighttime routine, probably bathing her before she sleeps to relax her muscles. Regarding selecting suitable clothes, you assist her to select clothes that are comfortable, that are easy to wear, and would also provide access to the surgical site in case you need to do wound dressing and it will also be easy for her to move around. Regarding her body temperature, you ensure that she's dressed warmly if the uh, environment is cold, like you dress her according to the weather, then you also monitor her temperature regularly because that would help you to detect any sign of infection. You keep the body clean by assisting her with daily hygiene, including bathing, oral care, hair grooming, and any other thing necessary. You also avoid dangers in the environments by implementing your four prevention measures, such as bed rails, bed alarms, call bell, and ensure that the environment is clean and free from clutters. Communicating with others, you use clear and simple language to communicate with her, and you also give her time to respond. You also ensure that she's involved in her care and able to make decisions about what type of care she is to receive. Worshipping according to her faith, you respect her religious beliefs. Take, for example, if Mrs. Babalala were to be a Muslim, you already know that she might love to keep her hair covered well when other people are on the ward. Then you also allow her to say religiously that if she wants. Then regarding working in such a way that there is a sense of accomplishment, you encourage her to engage in the activities as much as possible, like maybe recreational activities or whatever she likes. Then provide that to access with reading materials, maybe knitting supplies, if knitting is a hobby, or anything that she loves to do. She loves to play cards, scrabble, give her access to that. This also goes in line with playing and participating in various forms of recreation. You can have her watch her favorite shows, play her favorite music on the radio, just to keep her happy. Then you also provide her with education about her surgery, recovery process, or any medication she is taking to um, solve the need of curiosity and learning. All right. I believe it has been a beautiful explanation of that theory. I know that a lot of us actually find nursing theories very boring in class. I don't know if that's your experience, but a lot of my colleagues when we were in school and sometimes on my own found it very boring. But I believe I've been able to make it very interesting and simplified. If you want to see more of my nursing videos, click here. And for more nursing theory videos, click here. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.